DynamoDB is the database for the cloud. A completely hands-off, seamlessly scalable system. If the needs of your business grow by an order of magnitude or you know, by a thousand times, you just go to DynamoDB's management console, turn a knob, say I need this much more throughput, and you've got it. It's as easy as that. With NoSQL systems, at least with DynamoDB, the goal is scale without bounds and be able to get in and out in under 10 milliseconds. DynamoDB, real simple. Create a table, and you can start running gets and puts against it. If you're running gets and puts at the order of two or three a second, it works. If you're running gets and puts at tens of thousands per second, it still works the same. Non-relational databases come with the mindset that I need to scale. That is the fundamental drive behind it, that there is not going to be a single point of failure or a single server. What I think a lot of developers will find really attractive about the product is that they can achieve really high performance, they can achieve a, a great deal of scalability, uh, and just really not have to worry that much about it. Under the covers, DynamoDB takes care of the replication, um, not only for reliability, but also for performance. Um, it takes care of the scaling, it takes care of managing throughput for its customers. There are two dimensions to data scaling. One is on the storage footprint, and the other one is on the request throughput. At the storage uh, scaling level, we automatically take care of the scaling. Customers don't even have to think about it. The throughput capacity is uh, when you create a table or update a table, you tell us how much uh, throughput you want the table to be able to achieve. We charge you by the hour just for what you need, and then if you can scale up or down later, and your bill will change accordingly. DynamoDB was designed to take advantage of the unique characteristics of solid state drives, or SSDs. We use SSDs uh, partly to just achieve blazing fast latencies. We also use them to keep the cost of throughput down. Next to that, there's this unique mechanism for developers to reserve both read and write uh, throughput capacity such that they can really rely on the performance of the system. Through the console, you can create a table, update a table to increase or decrease the throughput levels that you need. Uh, you can see how much storage you've put into the table, and you can also look at CloudWatch metrics to see how things are performing. It makes it a very low cost and easy to grow service.